to keep you updated, Listín Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presents the most important news of the day. Wednesday, February 14th of 2024, President Luis Abinader once again insisted before the Security Council of the United Nations on the need for intervention by the international community to appease the social, political, and economic crisis in Haiti. Listín Diario has established as a tradition the commemoration of an event in honor of the Month of the Homeland. During this event, tribute is paid to the national symbols, highlighting the values, traditions, and the fight for the sovereignty of the national territory. Although the causes that are leading to an increase in the registration of prostate cancer in the country are not clear, there is no doubt that the increase in patients with this disease is attracting the attention of oncological doctors. The First Lady of the Republic, Raquel Arbaje, and the Minister of Public Health, Victor Atala, yesterday led the commemoration of the International Day to Fight Childhood Cancer, an event in which they reaffirmed the commitment to reinforce actions that contribute to reducing mortality for that disease in the country. Long promises of a model campus suitable for teaching, today they have been left with unusable bathrooms, empty classrooms, and indignation at the lack of agility of the authorities. The chapel of the National Palace, considered an architectural jewel, is undergoing a rigorous restoration process to make it more visible on the occasion of its 68th anniversary on February 26. Retired police and military officers protested yesterday at 27 de Febrero Avenue towards the National Police Palace and the Ministry of Finance to demand a salary increase and other demands. For this and more information, you can visit listindiario.com for Listing Diario voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez. To keep you updated, Listing Diario, the newspaper for the Dominicans, presented the most important news of the day.